ready to go to school? Yeah. Okay, you ready to go to school, man? You ready, man? <laughs> Whoa. Hop up. Don't take your jacket off. You can't take your jacket off. You can't take your jacket off, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm headed out to take the kids. We'll take Harlan to school. And Corbin has a doctor's appointment. I can't see. He has a doctor's appointment with the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Let me see. He possibly, well, he has to get tubes. So, yeah, this first appointment is going to be a consultation. So, that's where we're headed to now. Hey, guys, I'm ready to go to school. All right. It's so pretty. All right, come on. Corbin's about to be get destructive. Come on, KK. So we're on our way to school, and we're just going over some things. Harlan has her first test, her first spelling test today, and she also has her first um, Bible verse. They had to memorize a Bible verse. So let me hear your Bible verse, Harlan. Create in me a clean, a clean heart, oh God. A white spirit within me. So 5110. Perfect. Perfect. Me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a white spirit in me. So 5110. Good job. Okay, so we just left the consultation appointment that took two hours. His appointment was at 8 o'clock and it's now 10.02. So I'm headed to take him to daycare and then I will start my work day. Everything went well. Initially was the check-in. You know, they took his weight, his height, things like that. And then he had to go and do a hearing test. We were in this small little room. I'm pretty sure there is an appropriate name for it, but I, I don't know it. But that room gave me major anxiety. Major anxiety. It was just super quiet. It was super small. And, but like they had different points to where set off like different tones, like the TV and just different noises. And once she would make those noises go, um, he would need to look in whichever direction he hears that sound. So she said that, she, that he did pretty well with that. But just with the history that he's had with all of the ear infections that he's been having, it'll be best for him to go ahead and get the tube. So it's scheduled pretty quickly. They scheduled it for next week which I really wasn't expecting for it for them to schedule it until I don't know at least two three weeks from now but yeah she said that they're not busy so he was able to get right in it's gonna be next Wednesday um, I'm a little scared I'm not a little scared I'm scared um, but I know all will be well I'm gonna get my prayer warriors to of course say some prayers for him call out my baby's name so I will be well. They said the procedure itself will take like one to two minutes, but um, you know, it's you know, getting him to sleep, having him wake up from off the anesthesia and things like that. So it's what takes the longer amount. But our call time is six o'clock a.m. He can't have anything to drink, eat or drink after midnight, any darker fluids. He can from 12 to four, I want to say she said he can have clear liquids. She did mention apple juice, which apple juice isn't a clear liquid, but she did say he can have apple juice, um, Pedialyte, and I mean, of course, water, but he can't have milk or anything like that. So, and you know, he doesn't sleep through the night right now, and you know, he wakes up for a bottle. So, that's you know, hopefully that won't be challenging for us, but it may be a little difficult because he's used to waking up having that bottle. I'm just gonna do what I regularly do make sure that his belly is good and full before he goes to bed at night. He's gonna drink his milk. I mean, it's just kind of like our regular routine, but yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll come back and talk about this next Wednesday. 
when it's surgery time. Hey, man. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. Good morning, guys. So today is the day of Corbin's procedure to get tubes in his ear. Our call time was five. It's five fifty. It is five forty-four now. So we are on time. <laughs> the surgery is gonna go as planned. It's gonna be successful, and Corbin is gonna stop having so many ear infections. Now him getting these tubes does not stop him from getting ear infections, but hopefully it'll lessen the amount he gets. And also once he get gets it, to my understanding, it'll just like the infection will drain out his ear from the tubes. And also for treatment, he'll get like little drops in his ear instead of the oral <laughs> medication. So yeah. You ready, buddy? <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. to give a quick little update um corbin left and went back maybe like maybe like 15 minutes ago the doctor just came in maybe like five minutes ago to let us know that everything went well with the surgery they gave us some drops that we um, are supposed to put in his ears three times a day for three days and yeah he said that everything went well so that was super quick and everything was successful so i'm thankful for that right now he's in recovery so we're just waiting on him to um, kind of wake up from the anesthesia and we will be headed home they are taking a nap i'm reading my book so yeah like literally i opened my book i probably read maybe like two pages and the doctor came in and was like well everything went well so yeah, let me try to read a few more pages before um, he comes back in. Sadly, we brought him back yeah. to you. Okay. Nobody, <laughs> wanted to, uh, nobody wanted to bring him back. We all wanted to keep him. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Just there, man. Yeah. Hey, man, are you good? Say, I did good. You did I good. Did say, hey, darling. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, Angel. I told you we come find him. Yeah, I told you we come find him. I know, right? Mm. You drinking your apple juice? Mm. Did you do good, man? You ready to get back to it, Corbin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we've been home for a while now. Um, it is 5.04 and Corbin has been doing excellent, just his regular self throughout the day. I did give him some Tylenol, which they recommended um, about midday, around about 12-ish. Um, but they did send home those drops that we need to put in his ears three times a day. And I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared to put him in his ear. I, I, I didn't want to be the one to first put him in his ear because the nurse said that it might burn. So I just, I don't know. So I'm gonna let Kadero do it. So we'll put three drops in his ear now and then three more before he goes to bed. And that's just gonna have to be the normal routine because since he's in daycare, both Kadero and I work all day, we'll have to put it in his ear in the morning when we get off and then before he goes to bed. So let's see how these eardrops go. Did you just get your diaper changed? Stop putting that crayon in your mouth. You stop, give it to mommy. Give me a kiss. Love you. Where you going? Where you going? Look at mommy. KK. What's wrong? Nothing. We're going to put the eardrops in his ear. Oh. Look at mommy. It's going to blow up. One, two, three. Good go. job, man. And then it's like just a massage. You can get it. Good job, man. Good job. Turn his way for that. Aww. Turn his way. It wasn't bad at all. Turn his one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I can't see, man. All right, good job. Good job, man. Good job. Yeah, okay. Come on, man. Rub it in. Good job, big boy. Good job.